It's not every day you hear about a project so ambitious it plans to fill an entire valley with water. And it's so massive it'll take three years to complete. But why is this happening and what makes it so urgent? Let's find out. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir is the largest dam to be constructed in the United States in the last 20 years. Located in the foothills of Loveland, Colorado, this massive project is designed to solve one of the region's biggest challenges, delivering water to the rapidly growing communities along the Front Range. Most of Colorado's water comes from the Rocky Mountains to the west, while the majority of its population lives to the east. Chimney Hollow bridges this gap, ensuring a steady supply of water for about 500,000 residents across 12 northeastern Colorado communities. With the population expected to double by 2050, this project is more urgent than ever. It all started over 20 years ago, when water planners identified the need for additional storage to support northern Colorado's growing population. The Chimney Hollow site was chosen for its minimal environmental impact, lack of endangered species and proximity to existing water infrastructure. In 2004, Northern Water and Larimer County jointly purchased the 3,500-acre property from Hewlett-Packard for $3.8 million, with nearly $1 million coming from Great Outdoors Colorado lottery money. Hewlett-Packard had originally planned to use it as a retreat center before abandoning the idea. After years of environmental studies, legal challenges and community debates, construction finally began in August 2021. Now nearing completion, the project is on track to open in 2025, promising to deliver a reliable water source for decades to come. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir is a massive project with a $690 million investment, which includes $570 million for the dam and $150 million for improvements to water infrastructure on the western slope. Once completed, it will provide 90,000 acre feet of water storage and cover a surface area of 740 acres with a maximum depth of 330 feet. At 350 feet tall and 3,700 feet long, it features a hydraulic asphalt core, a rarity in the US, making it only the second of its kind in the country. The of the Chimney Hollow um, Dam is, uh, is only one of two in the U.S. right now um, that has an asphalt core and rock fill shell. So um, there's, there's over 200 of these worldwide, but these are the first two in North America, and Chimney Hollow is by far the largest. The project also includes a 40-foot high saddle dam. Think of it like a small backup barrier at the southern end. But why go with an asphalt core when most dams in the US use clay? Well, there just wasn't enough clay available where this reservoir is being built. Normally, clay comes from the rocks that get excavated during construction, but this time, not enough. Now, here's how it all started. First, they build a temporary coffer dam to set the stage for the main dam. To do that, they had to remove 2 million cubic yards of soil and half a million cubic yards of rock to clear the way for the dam's massive 80-acre foundation. That's a lot of digging. Then came the concrete plinth. This is the dam's base, a solid foundation that connects to something called a grout curtain. Oh, and just so you know, the grout curtain is a barrier created by injecting a mix of water and cement into the ground to seal it. This keeps the reservoir from leaking and ensures the foundation stays put. The asphalt core itself will meet the concrete plinth at the base. The dam will be built as a rock fill structure, meaning it's made of a mix of rocks and gravel with a hydraulic asphalt concrete core running through the center. Essentially, it's super strong and super watertight. And we can't forget about the spillway. When water levels get too high, like during heavy rain or snowmelt, the spillway steps in, giving excess water a safe route out of the reservoir. It's all about preventing flooding in the surrounding areas. So that covers the dam's construction, but there's still one big question. How's it going to get its water? At the heart of it is a super complex tunneling system designed to connect the reservoir to its water sources. We're talking about an inlet and outlet structure, an upstream channel with a grout chamber, 
a fancy valve system and even a downstream channel. Even a 2,000 foot tunnel was laid down and 5,000 cubic yards of reinforced concrete were brought in to build the inlet and outlet structure. But what about the water supply? Well, they've got that covered too. Multiple 126 inch steel pipes along with 72 inch steel offtake were delivered to channel water to the reservoir. But the water has to cross some serious terrain to finally make it to the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. The dam's location near the CBT project infrastructure was carefully chosen. The primary water source is the Windy Gap Reservoir on the west slope. From Windy Gap, water is collected and pumped six miles through a piping system to Lake Granby. There, the CBT infrastructure takes over, moving the water through Shadow Mountain Reservoir and Grand Lake to the Adams Tunnel. The water then travels 13.1 miles through the tunnel, passing four reservoirs and three power plants before finally reaching the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. It enters and exits through the inlet and outlet tower. Filling the reservoir will take about three years, starting in July 2025. This extended timeline is due to the need to collect 90,000 acres of water, which depends on seasonal snowmelts and weather conditions. The gradual process allows for careful monitoring of the dam's structural integrity and ensures compliance with water rights and environmental protections. As you can imagine, building something like this is no small task. It required a massive amount of materials and a non-stop construction process. Construction relies on Colorado's largest mining operation, which processes up to 63,000 tons of rock daily. This material is used to build the dam's massive rock fill structure. For the dam itself, they used nearly 16 million cubic feet of rock fill material and 100,000 cubic yards of asphalt concrete. And this wasn't your everyday road asphalt. This mix was specially made on site, combining high bitumen content with fine aggregate. The result was a more flexible but durable material designed to stop water leaks. Engineers call it water tightness. The saddle dam required about 135,000 cubic yards of rock fill and 40,000 cubic yards of clay. As for the spillway, it needed roughly 9,000 cubic yards of concrete. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir may have sparked a lot of questions, but it's providing solutions to even bigger problems. So what's your take on this ambitious project? Did the authorities make the right call? Let us know in the comments. While you're here, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more mega build stories. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.